We were challenged by DEFRA to come up with a, a new way of thinking, um, taking on board that the catchment community is kind of fatigued with all of this stuff. They've seen it before, they've heard it before, they've attended the meetings, the actions haven't been delivered on the ground. So we, we, we took that on board and we've actually gone back out to the catchment community and we've said, bear with us, give us a chance, this is how we think we can make it work, but most importantly, this is how you need to help us make it work. WFD Plus is really, really simple. If we try to save rivers by talking about the technical requirements of a piece of EU legislation uh, in language that nobody understands, we'll get absolutely nowhere. WFD Plus is about making this uh, about those important technical things, but also about the things that people care about. And people care about the beauty of rivers, access to rivers, uh, the use and utility of rivers, uh, and the fact that rivers are beautiful. They're part of their lives, part of this place. In a nutshell, we, we took the plan out to the catchment community. And during the last year, we interviewed and spoke to over a thousand people. And during that process, we identified four key audiences, uh, planners, investors, communities, and farmers and landowners. From my point of view, being part of the community, my family's been in the area for a lot of generations. I think if we're gonna make real differences to the river and the surrounding environment, then you've got to take the people <coughs> whose lives are sort of involved within that catchment as well, with the people that make a living from the landscape and the people that uh, have to care about it as part of their daily routine. It's important to bring them along. I think what's different about the plan to many of the things that have gone before is that we, we genuinely did take it out to people. There's a misconception um, that only middle class, educated, affluent people care about rivers and nothing could be further than the truth after spending a year talking to people in the catchment. Our consultation, what's been, what's been good about it is that we, uh, we went out to people and we asked them why they cared about rivers, we asked them what they thought their impact on rivers was and what they, would like to do, what they thought they could do about it. And it was really, really interesting that what people came back with. And I think the, the, the final catchment plan very much reflects what people told us. Um, a lot of the information has existed in the past in various databases or reports or people's own personal knowledge and different organisations, but we really need to bring all this together so we can see the whole picture for the catchment. The benefit was really to try and have something that was clear and visual to help people understand what the different issues were and where they may be located. In partnership, there, there are no shortcuts. It, it's a long, hard slog. Eden Rivers Trust can't do this on its own. We have to work with the right people at the right time to get the right job done. Any partnership needs work. It also needs people to be honest. And I think that's one thing that we have got to with the catchment plan is everybody being honest around what are their priorities, what are their concerns, what are their views, and we've put that into the table. Those don't always align with each other, but the important thing is to recognise each other's perspectives, which I think this plan has helped us all think about, and then actually think around, okay, so where do they come together? Where can we work collectively? The, the process that Eden Rivers Trust has gone through is almost like gone through a translation process of taking the Water Framework Directive and the River Basin Management Plan Manifesto and made it accessible to sort of people who aren't usually involved with that, that sort of delivery mechanism. ERT have gone about it in the only way it could have been done properly. What they've done is they've got us all together, a group of stakeholders, we've had an, a series of workshops, we've even had a bus tour, we've got on a bus and we've been out around the catchment, we've been looking at the issues, debating stuff around the farms, sharing knowledge and you know, coming together as a group of stakeholders. They've got us all together and that's you know, exactly what we had to do. I mean, in some respects, the, the very strength of the plan is, is also its weakness. You know, we've paused for thought, we're looking at the future, we're saying, is there a better way of doing this? But on the other side of the coin, we've also got to recognise that we need to have a costed plan with milestones, who's doing what, where, when and how. So over the next three years, we are developing that very detailed costed plan and we'll be getting buy-in and sign-up from the various partner organisations in the catchment. You can't really save this catchment, save these rivers and these water bodies without persuading farmers, business people, tourists, people who manage the roads, uh, the environment agency, a whole bunch of people to do things a little bit better. And if we can persuade everybody to do things a little bit better, then we can genuinely save the river. But it, it won't be plans done behind closed doors that do that. 
this, this process of engagement and buy-in from the communities is absolutely the engine of change between now and 2027. We could work as organisations alone, but ultimately this plan, working in partnership, gives us a much better chance over the next 20 to 30 years of having much better river, lake environments in the Eden catchment. Really looking forward to seeing what it will look like. Rivers are really important. And, and, they, and they don't make them anymore, we all know that. And, and what we want is a catchment that's healthy, it's vibrant, it supports communities, it supports business, it supports wildlife, it supports natural heritage. And this plan will do that, and, and that's my hope. And it's not about the here and now, it's about the future. The plan will make a difference, it's been completely worth the investment. There is a but. The but is that it's going to take a long time. People must not expect to see a big difference in the short term. This is a long-term plan. We're talking about our children and our grandchildren here. It's a long-term plan, but yes, we've got to do it.